Though his time on the world stage was brief, a single tour, he made quite a splash. He was a one-hit wonder, a runaway prophet with a fish to fry. His name was Jonah, son of Imitai. We know him simply as Jonah. Some hailed him as a prophet, others a walking apocalypse with a bad case of scurvy. Everyone agrees it's one whale of a tale, and tonight we will hear from those who knew him best as we go behind the music with Jonah. Bridges, 67. Good to see you. Good to see you. You first. Oh, <laughs> you're always the gentleman. Ladies before gentlemen. Yo, this is the one. This is the, this is the you, one. You played this on on all but one album. Glass bridges. You used to that. bring the house down on that one. Money's that I've left. Left, left, right. Left, right, left again. Yay. The beginnings of the band. Big Fish and Big the Sailors Fish. of Chopper. It was a good name. It was a good band. 1964 through 78 and a half. 78 and a half. The times were different back then. It was really a magical time. Mm. Um, the band was firing on all cylinders. Creativity was falling off the the proverbial tree. Every release was a, was a hit. And we, Number we, five or above, every you, one. You came aboard early. That's was right. it your idea to bring Jonah in? Absolutely not. I believe he won some type of karaoke contest, or he was he had sent in a pretty picture that he had drawn or something, but he somehow we got on the bill, and then he never left. And which tour was it that I, I can't it was, remember? It was Seven Dead, Seven Deadly Seas. No, the Never Sink Again tour. Never, Never Sink Again. Never Sink Again. It was it was just after Glass Bridges. The tour bus we called it the boat. Remember? The boat. We had a lot of fun on the boat. We, and there were quite a few life rafts launched. Just in case. From that. In case you yes. happened to get in a situation. Yes. Was the label it, strong on you, didn't they? You know, it they said the one label. show and then. Really, thinking back, it was after Jonah joined the, the tour that everything went downhill. Everything. It was bloody miserable. Well, we, we had to get rid of him eventually. You know, it was like cutting off, you know, the dead branches. But that wasn't even like the big problem. The big problem was that whenever he was around, things started to go awry. From day one, he showed up and I lost my left shoe. I still haven't found it. The band, the band, fell apart as well. He, he would convince us of all of these different side projects and well, then divide punk, and conquer. The punky Pete, he lost his hand. He could never play eighth notes after that. It was just clonk, 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 you know. All from the... He would just move his arm, really. He was just kind of a flumping, you know. We called him Flumpy Pete after flumpy that. Flumpy Pete. He went from flumpy. punky Pete to Flumpy Pete. He was brilliant, though, wasn't he? He was. There was literally a, a dark cloud that seemed to follow him everywhere. everywhere. Uh, the sky was black, always. Yep. And, and sometimes it didn't even rain, did it? I mean, it was, it, it'd be different if it was like you know, raining. Yeah, or if, he, if, it, if the thunder and lightning would come like, 
while he was on stage. You know, only like, when cool. we were on stage. That's yeah. right. That's right. And it ended a lot of shows. Ended many shows, and and it was a miserable time, really. It was, and it was inexplicable. Did it seem to you? Because it did to me. Did it seem like he was hiding or running? Like he was always running away from something. Like he'd look over his shoulder, he'd walk away. You know, he'd get a ham sandwich, he'd look over his shoulder, he'd he'd eat a sandwich, and terrible he, tipper. He, he never tipped. I remember that one day he Gratuity gave. Gratuity is not in his vocabulary. He, he told that lady, "If you want a tip, here's your tip. Don't expect a tip." I remember he told her. Single mom she was, raising seven children. They were in the kitchen. They had them cooking. And the rest of the band convinced that we should do a, a, a folk rock opera. opera. Folk rock opera. He was gonna. It was something about uh, dancing in the dark, but with like you know we were gonna wear like stuff that you know I didn't understand what a word of is really what he was talking about. I just wish he hadn't won that karaoke contest. What do you think he must have done something to bring that kind of negativity? I don't know. I don't know what it was. I never found out. Uh, and I, uh, it's it's in the past, and the the, the past is best left behind.